Well hello everybody, welcome back and I thought I'd do an intro to the video you're about to see because um, we've moved on a bit, that was about two weeks ago when the weather wasn't particularly nice and you'll see that coming up as part of my intro to that particular video. But I thought this afternoon I'd just talk about the, what's been happening yesterday. Yesterday was the 6th, sorry, the 5th of May, today's the 6th, uh, the 5th of May and wasn't it a wonderful day? We had um, the coronation of King Charles III and his wife Camilla as Queen and I thought it was an amazing coverage uh, on the BBC and um, I'm sure ITV was just as good because um, one of my uh, people I subscribe to, the Royal Reviewer, Elliot, had also mentioned that he'd watched ITV and then switch back, switched back to BBC. So do go across to his channel if you want to have a more in-depth account of yesterday in the United Kingdom when we um, celebrated and watched the crowning, which was amazing. The, the streets of the Mall were full of cheering people and um, London was a throng because of this amazing event. Um, and so really well covered. Sky covered it as well. I watched a little bit of Sky in the evening. Wasn't quite so polished as the BBC, but you know, it's nice to get a different viewpoint as well. And Channel 4 later on in the news bulletin was talking about the protesters and about the monarchy and you know, uh, is it still relevant and so on and so forth, which uh, was a good, good balance, I thought, for across the whole range of uh, main channels yesterday. But lovely, the weather was, wasn't too bad either. It rained a little bit, but then cleared. We had the fly past, we had the balcony scene, all the usual things that unite that this country does so very well in, uh, in what the monarchy is there for to sell uh, the United Kingdom as a brand. And I think it does it very well. I'm sure sales are memorabilia. I know that in my own situation in our, in our shop, we've been buying in new stuff and it's been flying off the shelf. We've cleared everything now. We had a very nice window display and um, uh, which really, really was very, very good. If I find a picture, I'll put that on for you. But it all went really, really well. And I was really, really chuffed by that. Also, uh, we've got a new arrival in the family. My son has uh, and his fiance have purchased, or she has purchased, though she's still not learned to drive yet, a Volkswagen Beetle 1970 in radiant red, a 1300 uh, standard Beetle. Um, loads of work being completed on it and um, really looking very nice, lots of new parts. And they bought it off Just Campers. Uh, which is the uh, site that I use when I want to get things for sunshine, our uh, camper van. So um, yeah, really good actually. And so we're gonna do a video about that, but I'll put some video on there, particularly with the, because it's had a complete engine out, and there's a video that came from the people that refurbished it, showing it running. So I'll put that on there for you with a load of pictures, but there will be a video coming of this lovely machine and um, yeah we've got Craig coming around this week to um, do some work on it get it in, in like he normally does get things uh, settled down and uh, you know but, it, but James has been driving it around and it's it's been really nice actually really nice so I think those are the two things I was going to say don't forget to subscribe if you are a new viewer to my channel and you like what you see do do, do subscribe and I do look forward to your comments as well and um, uh, you know, any improvements you think I can make to the channel, let me know. Anything you think we should be covering, well, we'll be covering a few car shows this year for historic and classic car shows, taking the bus on a few of those. And also, I'm going up to the Yorkshire, as I mentioned in my the next part of the video, I'm going to Bridgedale in Yorkshire, and the Yorkshire Dales doing a camping weekend there with some guys, so it should be really nice. But anyway, enjoy the video and see you all very soon.
Well, welcome back to the channel everybody, it's Richard here and this afternoon um, the weather has been absolutely awful. We've had really high winds in the southeast, a lot of rain, but I have actually been out in the camper van and I just thought I'd mention that um, thank you for everyone who commented on the last upload I did, the last vlog I did about uh, van life with sunshine and um, just say thank you very much. I haven't looked at all of those responses yet i don't think there's that many but you know oh, never mind it's about the content which is important um and uh so that's good but this afternoon i thought perhaps i'd just do a bit of free flow what i call free flow i've had a few online meetings today and i've been to the gym this morning uh took sunshine uh, before the wind and rain really got going because it was quite sunny and uh, so i had a good of a run out because i was starting to bed the brakes in Do you remember we talked about that in my last blog and said that I'd um, also, um, so I need a bit of doing of that. Running perfectly well, touch wood, well I shouldn't touch wood really, but got a great mechanic uh, and a Craig Smith who's really good. So really happy with that, so yes. And what else did I do? Oh, I cleaned all the hubcaps off last, uh, yesterday, in between the showers um, and working. And uh, so, but I think I might, might actually get some new ones or possibly get them re-chromed. Not sure really which way to go with that yet, but I uh, might work out about the same really, or perhaps a bit cheaper. Because they are the original ones that came with the van back in 79. And, um, and also, Sunshine has his uh, 44th birthday on the 1st of May. That's when he was registered. 1st of May 1979 so it's quite nice really so yeah so I'll share that with you today what I'm gonna do this afternoon I thought I'd do various things I've got some records 78 that I picked up in the last few about a month and a half that I thought perhaps I review with you I won't bore you stiff with all of those but also then I thought we'd play one or two of them the nicer ones well they're all nice but the ones I've picked I've also been delving into some CDs because at the shop we get lots of CDs given to us and of course um, of course I get first pick and then I buy them and then when I finish with them I, I donate them back again which is quite a nice thing to do so I don't have a stacks of CD. I also picked up some some records, some LPs at my local charity shop, uh, Bernardo's um, and also Hospice of Hope which is uh, near me here in Maidstone so I thought perhaps I'd share those with you. So this is a bit of an opener. Also I have been starting to read a new book called, uh, called Gurkha which is really nice. Um, I'll share that with you as well. And um, I'm also going up to the Dales, Yorkshire Dales, for a hiking weekend, staying in a really nice place in Wales, north of Wales. It's called um, Dales Bridge. So anybody knows Dales Bridge, you know, my, uh, you'll then be able to tell me what you think. But it looks, the landscape looks absolutely amazing. So um, there's only, I think there's only 12 places for this so um, I thought I'd sign up. Long way to go I know with the car but I take my tent, have a nice weekend in the end of June, the 23rd to the 25th of June I'm doing that. Booked it all up, booked my holiday, great so that's it. So without further ado I'm going to turn the camera around and then show you uh, what we got in the record collection. Hold still. So I'm hoping that you can see these. All right, I've got all the lights on to try and get some light onto these. These are on the this one's on the Columbia label. Um, I'll go a bit nearer; it might be better for you. I've got you standing on a stack of uh, cassettes. Uh, this one is by the none other than Joe Stafford, and um, it's no secret. Now I didn't realise that this one, it's no secret, and also this one which was he bought my soul to Calvary well that's a hint really these are religious records and I didn't realize that Joe Stafford actually sung any of the religious stuff but um, very nice very clean on this nice Stamp Brothers um, album so you know cover so that's very good so there we go the next one I've got is called this is a very dark uh, Anne Shelton a pair of silver wings so there we are, a pair of silver wings. Now you know, this is on the Rex label. Now I know that she did record on the Decca quite a bit, but I didn't realise she'd recorded on, on Rex. So that's a, it's a really nice number, this one of my favourite. I'm a great fan of Anne Shelton, prefer her to uh, Vera Lynn actually. And the second one is, I can see that, Who Am I? She's really nice as well. So there we go, recorded 1941. 
It's a wartime record, that, as you'd expect, a pair of silver wings. So this one is Spike Jones. I'm just going to turn the cover around so you can see it properly. And Spike Jones and he, I can't see this again for the reflection on here. Uh, I want, I went, I went to your wedding, or something that one's called, and the B side is uh, Lou had a baby, which is a bit, so yes, unfortunately, somebody has stuck a four pound label on there. I didn't pay four pound for this, but I can't move the bugger, so I'm not going to try because it will ruin the label. I hate it when they do that. I wish people wouldn't do that, so yes, there we are, that's that one. Uh, where are we got here? John McDonald, uh, Mc, John McDonald, John McCormack, sorry, I'll walk beside you. And the second one of this one is the star of the of the country down. There we go, see that a bit better. And now I'll walk beside you. So again, a slight religious sl slant to that, I imagine that will be. Really nice number though, okay. Uh, this one is um, just an old fashioned girl. And we know who that sung this one. Let's turn this round. I should have done this before, but I haven't. There we go. This is by Eartha Kitt. The most famous, one of her most famous numbers on HMV. So it's a 1950s rendition. And on the B side, it's uh, If I Can't Take It With Me When I Go, Eartha Kitt. So yeah, by Harry Reen and his orchestra. Quite nice. Next one on the MGM label. Uh, My Buddy's Girl by Rush, by Rush Adams. Okay, with the, and this is with the uh, Buddy Bergman and his orchestra, and and the Interludes, uh, which is on Thunderbird Music, quite nice, in an HMV label uh, cover actually, which is um, which uh, slightly out of time, but there we go. And on the B side, we've got uh, the Birds and the Bees. Rush Adams, so it's quite a nice number that actually, so I might play that one. And then we've got Ragtime Memories by the Jolly Old Fellows on Regal. I put this in into a brown cover because it hadn't got a cover with it. So yeah, it's um, quite nice that, quite pleasant. And uh, Ragtime Memories again part two, which is quite nice. That's quite nice on Regal, quite pleasant. Right, Natalie Latcher fine brown frame there we go uh, a rhythm is a compliment and the B side is hurry on down right Natalie again I didn't know her at all so it's a new new one to me but very pleasant uh, next one is Harry James uh, I'm beginning to see the light where it's quite a popular number here in his orchestra uh, of course, do you get into the number there? And then on the B side, or A side, whatever way, Carnival, quite pleasant. I have to say, I'm not a great fan of Harry James, some of his music, because it sounds very screechy, that trumpet, and doesn't always go down well. But I think that's a rather nice number, that one. And then we've got Flanagan and Allen, Corn's, uh, Corn Silk. I like Flanagan and Allen, I think they're great numbers. And then uh, the B side of that one is. Don't forget me, not not Lane. Yeah, down oh down. Forget me, not Lane. That's quite nice. They're really quite a lovely duos. Those two, great number. So yep, yeah, there we are. And then also beyond the blue horizon, Jeanette McDonald. No, but Jeanette McDonald's a oh amazing lady, fantastic singer. And it's from the film Monte Carlo. Uh, there we go. A very very nice number. And it came out 1930. I'd found the date on this one. And then the B side. Uh, Always in Always by Jeanette MacDonald. 1930. Soprano. I think she's amazing. Oh, I just think she's lovely. Right, there we go. And then this one, which is a really unusual one. This has a picture of another than Bing Crosby. Um, in a little hula heaven by on the Brunswick label and it's got his own picture in there with Jimmy Dolce and his orchestra so I'm going to play this one because this is, this is a really really nice record b-sides also uh, this is Sweet Lilinsa is it? I'm a terrible pronunciation uh, from the from the, from the Wikiki wedding that was one uh, again Bing Crosby with uh, Lenny McIntyre and his Hawaiians that's very very nice 
So I thought we might start with that one. So if you hold far, I'm going to turn the camera around and and uh, power up the portogram, which I altered some while ago. It's got this nice Garrard uh, SP25 Mark III deck and it's uh, extra bits added. It sounds absolutely amazing. So hold fire there. Oops. So the first record I'm going to play is going to be this one. Uh, right, just this one here. No, we'll go that way. There's Bing Crosby and in my little Hula Heaven. Okay, so enjoy. Played on the SP25 and with the portogram. So let's go. Let's, this is the first take, so see what it's like. <laughs> second side so just let this finish and then we're switch it over and that's with Tommy Dolce I think on there uh, oh sorry Jimmy Dolce and his orchestra so on that one so the second one I'm going to play is Sweet Lisa Lino I think it's it? Owens uh, from Wikiki Wedding uh, and this is with L Lenny McIntyre and uh, his Ho Ho um, Ho Ho yes Again, so let's have a go with this one. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed that first one. <laughs> Thank you. 
tropic stars are jealous as they shine. My sweet Leila, I think they're jealous of your blue eyes. Oh, lovely Leila, jealous because you're. So there we go. There we are. That one. That's fantastic. Hope you enjoy that. So on the Decca 73 on an HMV label, uh, always in always uh, on catalogue number B3633 1930. And uh, here we go. I've adjusted the speed on this so we know that it's going at 78. I have to still fix the brake though, auto brake. Together, wave and see. 
was that sublime? That was beautiful there. I'm just going to have to turn this off because the brake, auto brake's not working. And now I'm going to turn over and then beyond the blue horizon. So let's put a bit more steam in the machine. As I say, I've got to adjust the auto brake. This thing here is not working properly. Uh, so um, I'm using them. And now it's not working at all. There we go. It's, it's, I'm just going to give it some steam, but so bear with me. Here we go. Side two. So, I hope you enjoyed that uh, and a little rendition there. I've got some more records to come very shortly uh, from uh, Jeanette MacDonald, but that was really nice. I always think it sounds nicer. The 30s records uh, sound really great on the Decca 73, and I've just got to fix that brake, uh, the auto brake. But And also, I've adjusted the speed. I've used the speed um, adjuster and uh, so that's better now so it was going a bit fast she sounded like she was shrilling a bit too much for me <laughs> anyway c oh yeah sorry c ooh, cd finds so here we go so yes this one here i came in and this one i really like this is called duets and it's produced by um bang and olfson uh and it inside it's got the cd and also the shared aspiration, it says here. This CD produced uh, to pay homage to one of the greatest jazz musicians of this century. With the aid of two world-renowned musicians, Danish bass player Niles Henning, uh, Ooster uh, Peterson, and American uh, pianist McGraw Miller, we have produced a recording that emphasizes the timeless quality of Duke Ellington's music and stands as a tribute to his unique talent. So yes, I mean, this is a really nice booklet that comes with this. It has lots of information here um, about, uh, the, about Duke Ellington. I like Duke Ellington. In here we've got the, on the listings, we've got um, C Jam Blues by him, Sophisticated la uh, Lady, and um, uh, Pitter Patter uh, Panther. Uh, There's a really a whole lot. There's twelve altogether, and uh, some by the uh, by the recording artists themselves. Uh, and this is recorded in Copenhagen in a single session. The result of, of a lyrical and magical performance that serves to demonstrate the rich heritage and the latest influence in Ellington music. There we go. 
So I thought it was really nice. So I, I, I might play you a bit of that actually, because it is worth listening to. It's very, very nice. Really like that one. Then the next one I got was one I sent away for with um, Presto Music, this one here, which is the Anne Shelton uh, recording of Lay Down Your Arms. Now the problem with this CD was when I had it, is it wouldn't load properly. It would load sometimes and not other times. So I tried it on three or four other machines, including my, my trusted machine behind you here, this one in the distance. Uh, he didn't work either. Um, and I thought this is most unusual. I thought there must be something up with this. So I contacted Presto Music, the company that produced this, and they said, oh, it could be something wrong with the, at the factory, so we'll send you another one, and then you can destroy the old one, which I haven't done, actually. So the new one arrived, which I put into a case, and uh, consequently, it sounds exactly the same. Sometimes it loads and sometimes it doesn't. So I would like to play a track for you from Anne Shelton. I know I've got some records to put out of hers. But um, yeah, I mean, the, the tracks on here are really good. These are two CDs in here. Lots of her record is she recorded exclusively on Decca, I think it was. As I said, there's one on Rex label, which is Lay Down Your Arms, which I will play. But um, I was a bit disappointed, really, because they do lots of other stuff. They send me jazz music and that. And I thought, well, if this is the case here, you know, uh, the, this says the 50 tracks, two CDs, are comprising of selected A and B sides from her singles on the Rex, Decca, HMV, London, Philips and Columbia labels from this era. So obviously covering the whole range of, you know, but um, yeah, sometimes when I put it in the CD player, it'll run, sometimes it wasn't, it won't. And it's not the machine because, it, you know, uh, if, it's, if it doesn't work in one and it doesn't work in three others, then it can't be the machine, can it? When, they're all, when normally things load automatically straight away. So a bit disappointed about that. But it is a good selection, but um, I wouldn't go out and buy it personally. Uh, so yes, okay. So what else we've got here? There we go, Peggy Lee. Now I'm a great lover of Peggy Lee. This is one's called Fever. 24 favourite tracks, songs here. Uh, really nice, really nice. Um, if I'm right, Peggy Lee was married to, I think she was married to, was it Benny Goodman or one of his musicians in his band? I think it is. Somebody will correct me, I expect. So yeah, so we've got Fever, Mama, Let's Do It, Fall In Love, Brackets, Stormy Weather, you know, all the best ones from Peggy and I'm a great fan of her, so yeah, great number. Uh, the next one is Harry Connick Jr., Your Song, that's quite a nice album set this one. Uh, quite modern style of jazz, quite like Harry sometimes. Um, all, all the way, just the way we are. Uh, can't help falling in love, you know, all the f really nice tra and the bonus track there. I love her duet with uh, Carly Bird. Bernie, is it? It's quite nice, actually. Quite good. Okay, yeah, so very, very nice that one. Now, this one I've got on an LP. This is Carol King Tapestry. Now, who doesn't know Carol King from the 1970s? Uh, I have got this album. It was really, it was a bit of an album I picked up through somebody else, didn't think much. I thought, oh, what's that like? And played it, and I used to keep playing it after that. But all her favorite tracks are on here. Uh, I feel the earth move, uh, so far away, it's too late, home again, beautiful, uh, way over yonder, and so on. Really nice track, so yep, let's put that one. And again, another album of hers, Carol King, A Beautiful Collection. So the very best of Carol King. So I feel the earth move again on this one, it's too late, and uh, I got a friend. So that's quite famous tracks on there, really nice album set. Now this one's a classical one, this is Walton, um, Spitfire, Prelude and Fugue, Crown Imperial, Auburn Scepter, Johannesburg Festival Orchestra. This is a really nice, I've played this in the shop for a while. Uh, surprise, Sir Charles Groves conducting the Royal, Liv Royal Liverpool Philharmonic Orchestra. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic album on EMI, so yeah, worth getting that on. And then I came across this young lady called uh, Emma Johnson. Now she's with the English Chamber Orchestra, uh, Weber and others, and uh, clarinet concertos. Now I do like clarinet as a, as a solo instrument, I do like, I've several solo instruments, I like violin and uh, 
uh, clarinet, but she's re this is a, I played this a few times and this is really nice. I said in the evening I come home and uh, very, very nice indeed. So very popular that. And yep, back. here's the, the listing on the back, back there. Very, very nice. So yeah, I hope you're enjoying me going through my collection with you because that's quite it. Uh, oh yes, right out of the 1970s here. The Osmonds. Yes, that's quite nice on there. Uh, some of their albums there. I played this about a few times, uh, just in the background. Crazy Horses, Proud One, Make the World Go Away, uh, Love Me for a Reason, Young Love. You know, the, I remember when I was at school, in the back of the bus in Germany, where I was schooling, we used to have the Osmonds playing, particularly Donny Osmond, Puppy Love. That was one of the best ones. The girls were always playing that one. And uh, it sticks in my mind. So yeah, right, let's just get some more out over here. Excuse me a second. So, okay, Ooh, I've got one here. Uh, again, uh, Emma Johnson playing Weber. Uh, two clarinet concertos. Uh, and this is again a really nice album set. Very nice. Uh, we also got David Garrett. Now, I've uh, never come, didn't come across him before, but he's with the Israeli Philharmonic Orchestra, Timeless, Brahms and Bar and uh, very very nice worth getting this if you're if you find it still out there but I like listening to it They're nice as I say I like solo instruments so uh, David uh, is a bit of a crossover artist I think he's called but um, very nice indeed Andrea Pacelli now I've got um, a couple of his albums this one's called Billy he's really very nice he's a f fantastic voice um, yeah, you'll never walk alone. Uh, Alleluia, Amazing Grace. So, a little bit of a religious slant to this one. Ava Maria, um, but there are others on there um, with it, you know. So, uh, uh, the one there, uh, uh, Pena Asimo, is it? The duet with Cecilia Bartley. So, really very nice. Um, and uh, yeah, I've got I've got one of his Christmas albums that came in. Uh, this one is a Christmas album. It is Bing Crosby and, uh, and Frank's and um, Frank and Bing. It's called. I haven't played this. It's still C. Right, camera just died on me because it said it would overheat it. So sorry about that. If you missed it a bit, so I don't think we have. So uh, the last one for this section is by Yo Yo Ma. Now this is a really nice box set. Uh, it is contained. I think it's. Let's have a look. One. I think it's a two two album set and it comes with some nice comes with nice line notes as well which is really good as i say i quite like single uh, instruments and uh, yo yo ma cello suites uh inspired by bach on there so really very really nice so i hope you enjoyed listening to those and uh what i'll do we'll do a few more and i'll be back to you